Hey guys, Kev here, and uh, I'm gonna do a quick comparison video between the uh, lefty and the righty sheepdogs. I guess I should hold them this way, huh? Left and right. So it's pretty cool to have them both uh, in hand. This one right here, I unboxed uh, on a recent video. Uh, I bought this from knifejoy.com, one of my favorite retailers to uh, buy knives from. And um, this is the left-hand version in plain titanium. It's got the uh, speed holes, the blue collar, uh, pivot collar. Pretty much your standard uh, Kaiser Sheepdog here. This is the original titanium. Uh, I guess now it's like the medium size, but it's the original size. Uh, and then I have Kyle's uh, DTOM Knives and Gear. Shout out to Kyle once again for being such a good buddy. Sending me um, a bunch of his knives to check out. Um, if you haven't seen that unboxing, <laughs> you should check it out. Because there's a surprise knife at the end he sent me that uh, it, it might make you laugh a little bit. I had a good time with that one. So uh, this is his. Um, this is the right-handed sheepdog. Uh, this has been modified. You'll see here that there's the lightning strike uh, anodization on here and uh, a little bit of acid washing, I think, or heat anno on the clip, something to that effect, uh, and the hardware, it looks like. Um, I forgot to mention in my unboxing that this was actually modded by... Uh, one of the ultimate gentlemen in this community, and that is uh, Scott Big Boar Williams. Uh, so you can always check him out on his channel, which is uh, Big Boar Knife and Gear. I'm sure you've heard of him if you're checking out my channel or if you've seen Kyle's videos. Um, but, uh, yep, Scott's a really good guy. He does a lot of things uh, for this community. He's always helping somebody out in some way. And, uh, he did this, uh, mod work on the sheepdog for Kyle here. So, uh, yeah, so I got both of them here and I just kind of wanted to go over a couple differences that I've noticed so far. Now, the one I have is brand new, right? So just out of the box, uh, the action was kind of, it was a little bit sluggish right out of the box. Like I had to really coax it down. Um, and it's still not perfect, right? I mean, you can see it doesn't necessarily drop all the way, but it has a nice kind of controlled drop, I'll call it. Um, I don't have to do much to get it to go down. I did take this apart today and I cleaned it out um, with some alcohol wipes. Um, I kind of uh, tried to smooth the bearings out a little bit. This is on uh, caged bearings. They're on, it, it, funnily enough, funnily, funny, funny enough, um, I'm used to the kind of brass cage bearings, if you know what I mean. Um, and when I took this apart, it's in like a black plastic uh, case. So it's, I'm guessing it's plastic, not Teflon. It could be Teflon, but it wasn't like that clear white color that Teflon usually is. So I think it's just a plastic uh, plastic cage that they um, put the bearings into. But um, I thought that was interesting. And they both do have the same type of bearings. There's no way you're going to be able to see in there. I mean, you might be able to, and you won't be able to see any kind of brass glinting in there, you know? Um but anyway, I, I took it apart. I polished those a little bit. I tried to put them on my strop and just kind of uh, go back and forth with my finger on them. Um, I do that occasionally with bron uh, phosphor bronze washers as well to try to smooth them up a little bit. Uh, kind of speeds up the break-in process because I have so many knives. I, I, I handle so many knives that I don't really give knives that long of a break-in period if, if you know it would take like years for a knife to break in properly um so sometimes i try to speed that up a little bit but anyway i took it apart it went back together uh perfectly um uh, it's perfectly centered it might even be a little better than it was uh there's absolutely no blade play uh, it's rock solid 
and the action has improved. Uh, it definitely drops a little better now. It's a much more controlled drop. Still not, you know, absolutely free dropping. Now, if I show you the uh, right-handed version here, this one is just stupid smooth. Um, if you heard me in that unboxing, I couldn't even talk when I first saw it. <laughs> uh, it just drops, and there is no friction. Uh, I mean, you can see here how smooth that is. The action is fantastic on this. Uh, I did ask Kyle. Uh, we chat a lot, so I asked him, how did this come out of the box? Because mine, I, you know, I had to take it apart. I, I, it's still not like this. This is beautiful. Uh, and he said it came like this. It just came this smooth. Now, part of me thinks that the work that uh, Scott did on it by anoing it and, um, you know, doing the mod work, I think that that helped a little bit because this is just... It's just fantastic. So that's a big difference on them. Obviously the Anno versus the plain titanium, but that's not really a difference between the right and the left. Now, the biggest difference that I have noticed between these two, because there are pretty much none uh, other than this, obviously the locks are on the opposite sides because you have a lefty and a righty frame lock, right? The blade, this is the thing I noticed, the blade, they kept the exact same way. And I know that in order to make a lefty versus a righty uh, knife, you're going to have to cut the tang or the, you know, the part that uh, interacts with the lock face. Um, you're going to have to cut that differently. I, I would absolutely assume that I'm not an engineer. I don't make knives, so I could be wrong, but I'm assuming there's a different process with a lefty and a righty blade. Um, but they kept the blades the same. So if you look at the markings, you'll see that on this side, on the lock side, you have the uh, maker's logo here, right? But on this one, on the lock side, you have the Kaiser logo, and then vice versa on this one show side kaiser on this one show side maker's mark so i mean what that tells me clearly is that they took the righty version which i'm guessing you would want the company logo on the show side right um they took this blade and then i guess modified it to work on the lefty uh that's all i can think of or they just decided to do it that way um it's just a little interesting to me that they did that. So, I don't know. How, I'm hoping you guys can see that. Uh, let me hold it up a little closer. There's the Maker's Mark. Maker's Mark. Kaiser. Kaiser. So, hopefully you can see that pretty well. Uh, but that's the main difference I saw, other than the action. Um, these are both... Uh, Big knives, heavy knives. That's what the sheepdog is. That's what you're in for. Uh, so I'll probably still do a full review on the lefty just to kind of get my thoughts because it's a, a left-handed uh, knife. And uh, I want to kind of promote those as best I can on the channel. Um, and that'll probably be it for this guy. Uh, I don't want to be too redundant here. Um and that's not fun for me either to show the same knife, do nine videos on it, you know. So uh, this will probably be it for this guy. I really want to thank Kyle for sending me this. Uh, and I want to just kind of shout out Scott Big Boar Williams for doing such a fantastic job modding this. I know it's hard to see Anno through the camera, uh, but trust me, it is gorgeous. Very, very well done anodization on this. So um yep so thanks to those guys check out their channels uh and i hope you guys have a wonderful day stay sharp <laughs>